from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Well, last year we saw 25 days of temperatures in the 100s. This year, only 13 days, so we're still doing good compared to last year, but we will be adding to that over the next couple of days as we are expecting high temperatures to yet again reach the 100s. The good news is there's a somewhat cool down on the way and some rain chances into the forecast today and even into tomorrow, giving us some sort of relief. Outside this morning, though, not expecting any rainfall, really not even a lot of clouds to start off, at least in Alton. Some areas, though, including Lubbock, waking up to just a few more clouds, but we will be watching those rain chances increase later on this afternoon and even into tomorrow. But after that, those are only rain chances within the next couple of days. Otherwise, it's going to be sunny, dry and hot and by hot I mean temperatures into the triple digits and unfortunately not really looking like there's much relief in sight. We are going to be watching temperatures fall into the mid 90s, but it's still going to feel pretty hot outside within the next six, at least seven days. Temperatures right now starting off the day into the 60s and some 70s. Cool spot in Mule Shoe at 62 degrees this morning. Later on this afternoon, going to warm up very quickly into the 100s. Notice we have a, a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm this afternoon as well. So we will be watching that potential really after about 2 o'clock. So time get out for you. We have a great first half of the day. No rain or really clouds across the area. Not until about 2. 3, even 4 o'clock. You could be expecting a few showers and thunderstorms to develop. Continues into the evening with most of the activity kept off to the south and some portions of the central south plains. A lingering shower possible, especially into eastern New Mexico. We'll be watching this area up to the north to bring a few isolated to strong showers and storms into some of our northern counties potentially, and that's actually where the greatest severe weather threat does lie for today. Most of us in that general thunderstorm category, but it's really areas to I-27 corridor and north that will be in that marginal risk for severe weather as per the Storm Prediction Center. Not looking like it's going to be a big severe weather event, not expecting a lot of large hail or really any tornadic activity, more so wind events. So maybe some gusty winds and that potential. Other than that, not expecting a lot of strong to severe storms across West Texas this afternoon. We'll keep the rain chances into Saturday, but we dry out by Sunday. Notice how high temperatures both Saturday and Sunday are at 102 degrees. And if you're looking for some relief, it's not going to be here anytime soon. Within the next six to 10 days, the Climate Prediction Center is still hinting at about a 60% chance that high temperatures within this time period will be above average. So potentially experiencing temperatures within the mid to upper 90s possibly even watching the triple digits yet again. Today, definitely going to be expecting those triple digits 102 degrees as the high temperature. Some relief in terms of that rain cooled air and some precipitation after about 2, 3 o'clock. Clearing out overnight with lows falling into the mid 70s. Those warm nights, hot days are still on tap for the next several days. Still expecting temperatures into the triple digits through next week. We dry out by Sunday, continuing into Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, though, temperatures drop just a couple of degrees. Still going to be hot with highs in the mid 90s and even some upper 90s. We will be watching, though, Wednesday and Thursday for a better chance of rain, potentially even at about 30 to 40%. Still way too far out in advance to really know exactly what's going to happen. Models are still a little bit on a disagreement, but we will be watching that for that potential since I know we all need a lot of rain. Over about 50% of the South Plains is in some sort of drought category. So fingers crossed we can get that rain, but for now only isolated rain chances today and tomorrow. Yeah, definitely want that rain, not just for our drought purposes, but also just to cool us down even just a couple degrees after a few days of that triple digit heat. I think we're going to be in pain. Yeah, a lot of people were asking me, where's the rain? You had rain in the forecast. It's only isolated, so keep that in mind. Not everyone is going to see rain. Yeah.